was actually sitting on my hands. <laughs> Did you hook up Albert with Sonia? Uh, I think she rejected him. I know that we went through that. <laughs> Look, I'm all by myself in this big bed. I need to get a small bed again. Okay. All right. Just read a fast spoiler on Audit's wiki. Yeah. <laughs> Michi Michelle, thank you so very much for the 18 month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys also don't hear any of the alerts today, whether it's follow, subs, sound alerts, could you go, could you let me know, please? There we go. I'm just turning up the in game audio because it gets a bit quiet. You guys can let me know how it sounds. Why am I orange again? Mr. Albert, yes, I, I have read about that now. I have read about that. It's the Rogue Knight, however, there's conflicting evidence. Yeah. Mitch immediately searches for evidence. Oh. Pinky, do you want a baby room? Scraps, do you want a playroom, baby? <laughs> we have a single dining room chair in my heart of hearts. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I never bothered getting more than one chair. Um, why don't you like me, Odd? Uh, he looked at me funny. <laughs> uh, you know, Ginger, I'm actually not sure. Secretly from Essex. Oh, I'm stuck on this chair. Oh, mistakes have been made. Uh -huh. That chair was trying to trap me. There we go. Pinky's baby now. Pinky and Scraps, you got it. They just walked into each other. You guys get to, uh, get to live your best life. Pinky, come here, let me... Let's do it this way. The pets never left me, no. I feel a bit weird keeping the cradle... Oh, that's backwards. Like, it feels a little bit... Oh, God. <laughs> uh... It feels a little bit dark, maybe? To keep it? People who knew and didn't spoil it, as a mod, I appreciate when you guys literally have a playthrough and experience everything. Yes, absolutely. Shout out to you guys for not spoiling what was going to happen the second you saw I was marrying Audit. <laughs> Incoming soft log. <laughs> Secret drop a day before. Oh, I don't even know. That was that was weird for for Animal Crossing, though. All right, let's get our resources. Let's check our mail, because I think something might be in here. Oh, no, I'm not going to marry anyone else. I'm going to stay a widow. I think I'm going to stay a widow. But yeah, you can tell me all about the other marriage candidates if you want. Okay, here it is. Are you guys ready? From Audit. Dear Crystal, due to a couple of reasons that I cannot disclose, I have to leave you for now. I'm sorry. I just want you to know that the days I spent with you here in Portia were the happiest days of my life. I'll treasure them forever. I'll be looking forward to the day when our paths cross again. Love, Audit. P.S. I left you something in a box in the tree farm. I hope it'll always make you think of me. I'm not even mad. I'm not even that mad. I am so here for this. <laughs> Kiki would sometimes visit my home. Oh, that's really cute. True, true, Rebecca. All right, and we got some delicate fur. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How did you find me? I always try to stay inconspicuous, you know. Oh, I thought he was. Uh, I want them to say something about audit. Comfort me that I've lost my husband. Hi. I'm learning more nope. and more about. No, nothing there. See you. Hey. How about you? There are plenty of rules for fishing. No, nope, that's fishing. There are All right. Plenty of rules for fishing. See you. He never really loved us. How did you find me while he stood next to your house? <laughs> Crystal Widow sounds like a mystical spider witch. <laughs> How did you find me? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Strong independent woman vibes today. My man's left, maybe died. On to the next adventure. Heck yeah, I still got a build. I have commissions to complete. I have to beat Higgins. <laughs> he only loved us for the free commissions. Kind of reminds me of Rune Factory. Definitely similar vibes, yeah. Alright, so there was something in the tree farm? I don't know where that's gonna be. I finally did it! 
I asked Dana out on a date. I haven't read about this dialogue yet. I've been that since I met her when I went on a trip to deliver wood to her farm. I'm not sure if she noticed me before. Oh, uh, or had the baby when he left. I would have been happier having the baby first and then him leaving. I know that sounds really weird, but like, I think it would have been an interesting story. But I'm kind of cool with like the what if. Hey, the tree farm is extremely environmentally friendly. Oh, uh, no one's Goodbye. saying anything about him. Uh-oh, <laughs> Pepper. To leave town because he got his ass kicked by Janko. So, okay, I asked early on about these Stark... Stark? Shark stickers. Um... These are the... the sky... The, the pirate things, right? Those are the pirates? Why do they have stickers everywhere? Is it just graffiti? Are they marking territory? <laughs> Alright, where is this box? Audit, you could have left it somewhere easy to spot. I can't see anything. Like, foreshadow- that's what I was thinking, like, maybe? Cause like, I've seen them in caves and dungeons and stuff, but I hadn't really seen them, like, right- right there. Villager hunter is looking for a cat on the first. <gasps> you got pearl! Nice! Guys, where's my box? Old men sound like Rocket Raccoon voiceover on TikTok! <laughs> Is it just a resource box? I actually don't know. What happened to my husband? So he turns out he was the bad guy. And, uh... <laughs> we didn't know this. Or at least I didn't. Uh, we married him, and... Then the bad guy got kicked out of town, so Audit suddenly mysteriously disappears. I think I get a new member. <laughs> I have some catching up to do. I'm just saying, if you guys haven't been around for Porsche recently, especially yesterday, everything hit every- like, there, there, there was fans flying, fans were hitting other fans. I don't know where this is. <laughs> Your heating pad broke, Pepper? Uh-oh. Can you get another one in quickly? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. A couple couches were flying, just like, you know. Let's kick. Does anyone know where this box is meant to spawn, or is it just glitching out on me? I want my box. My husband left me something when he left me. <laughs> A whole ass tree. Ooh, the main resource box, maybe? Someone was saying resource box earlier and I didn't twig that. Thank you, sorry. I was just imagining, like, a box. Wait, so this isn't- this is buying resources, that's not- Is there another box here that I'm forgetting? He didn't just glitch out, no. Simply press Widow, where being a Widow is as easy as starting up the game. <laughs> uh, it's not my box, right? Because he said on the tree farm. Uh, there's the one outside our farm, mind you. I didn't see anything in the house. Anyone know where this actually spawns? If it's- maybe it's just acting funny. I know, I could have picked anyone else. I nearly went for Emily. Cause she's cool too. Loki, I also kind of like Alice as well. I know, I should have taken the horse. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to find it really easy. Remington, dude, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Hi. Hi. We find some data disks from time to time. No you one's know. saying anything See about him either. In a box, in the tree farm. Yeah, that's what I read too. No, we already picked up everything from here this morning. Uh... I say it's just the afternoon. I don't know. We'll see how we're enjoying Porsche. Uh, no, I think it's just for Audit. You could have married anyone else and had a completely normal playthrough, but because we chose him. Under a tree in the tree farm. Under a tree. Oh, same brain. 
<laughs> Alright, so we're gonna waste our day looking for this box, but you know what? I'm in shock. Towards the back of the tree farm. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is a real twist. I could have picked anyone else and had a- I could have had kids, we could have lived heavily- heavily? Heavily ever after. Happily ever after. But I married Audit, and I progressed the story. Oh, is that it? No, that's the- uh, that's not it. Um... Uh, I don't see- can you marry a woman? You can indeed. I don't think this is still count as a tree farm. Gonna choose him too, but you never got that far. He will still leaves and everyone's like, oh gosh, it's crazy and then you go about your building life. Yeah, you could, like, he'd still leave. But it's just, it's fun because if I hadn't married him, I may not have even noticed that he left. Guys, I don't think this box is here, low-key. It also doesn't help that the game decided to be grey and cloudy today, so I have even more trouble seeing. Near the somber marsh, DD stop? Why am I not seeing DD stops? Near the somber marsh one? Okay. So back near that bridge. Alright, Ginger, thank you so very much. Try closing the game, opening up again. Yeah, we didn't do anything today. So I'm not, you know, too fussed about it. Black Widow, what, should I be scared of you? No. No, you should not. What's this? Is this it? Audit's present. That's not a box, dude. That was a pouch. Okay, let's take a look. Audit's present. Gift from Audit. When placed in your house, you'll receive bonus attributes. So again, he was a pacifist apparently, but you get um, plus five attack from this also. It's wearing his outfit, I'm pretty sure, but I don't... Did he have goggles? That is really cute. Also, I just wanted to check something. <gasps> He's now my BFF. He legit divorced me. <laughs> but yeah, no, he didn't have goggles. That's his outfit, but... You got a call. <laughs> Keep killing it. Thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your day. As his facial hair. <laughs> Mandolin. I'm a divorcee. I'm a divorcee. We're gonna say our we're a widow though. Low key, I like that a bit better. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you guys, I need to play Sand Rock now. Like I was like, you know, I'm I'll play it eventually. I'm excited. Um, no, I need to play it now because if there's even the slightest hint that they're going to continue the Rogue Knight storyline, I need to see my husband again. Are you okay? No? Alright, no. The man you knew died when you found out the truth about him. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Luke, for sure. Feel free. I will follow him into another game. Absolutely. That's my husband right there. Very devoted. Uh, he just shows up again and says, Hey, bestie. <laughs> That's the ultimate insult, my goodness. Alright, let's go put the teddy bear down. Ooh, should I put it down in the once children's room? Just get real dark? Left his story open-ended with the hope of exploring it down the line. So I've, I was reading through yesterday and I saw that and I saw a lot of people saying like, Oh, I kind of wish... Um, that they would have come out with like a DLC or like more for Portia, but I think they're kind of done with it now, to be honest. Oh, he'll go here. Um, I think, um, if anything, it could be continued in Sandrock. Uh, oh, you're a bigger item than you look. That's kind of annoying. All right, well, you know what? Maybe on Audit's side of the bed. <laughs> so blushy. You're gonna go on audit side of the bed. And before it has like a listening device in it. Honey. Oh, shut up. I hate that. Ew. 
Does it just say, wait. Precious. Precious. Sweetness. That's not what you called me. You called me darling. Princess. No. Precious. No. Honey. No. Angel. <laughs> hey. Honey. Honey. No. Darling. There you go. That's cursed and I hate it. I love it though. <laughs> hey, bestie. <laughs> Ask me almost anything. How did you and Rosie meet? Rosie came into one of my streams. Rosie came into one of my streams and we were just like talking. And then eventually, if you guys hang around enough, low key between me and you guys, if you guys are here enough and you're, you're chatting and like I start to see your name repeatedly, I'll start to remember you. If I don't see your name that often, I don't usually remember so well. But like, usually that's how I make connections. <laughs> and to divorce him again. <laughs> that bear is terrifying. I love it. Is that- I think that's a little bit dark, but I absolutely love this. Could someone clip that, by the way? That'd be great. My goodness. <laughs> what a game. Ordered himself saying all the pet names stuffed into a bear. <laughs> Uh oh, oh sorry about that, Diaz. I'll still be able to view that, don't you worry. Look, you bonded on Kingdom Hearts Online. Okay, yeah. See, I've missed the moment. Ah, oh, it's skedaddled, yeah. <laughs> Wait, lady, how are you doing today? It was. It was a moment. It was definitely a moment. I thought that the game glitched out, to be honest with you. I did not do any of my quests for today. Um, uh, okay, so we just need some more worn fur. Artifacts, hello, welcome on in. But yeah, no, uh, Porsche's been very interesting. <laughs> Porsche's been very, very interesting, so. Boris, are you okay? I don't think I can get into the... Uh, I want to call it the Adventurer's Guild, that's not what this is. The flying pig headquarters this late, can I? I'm going to assume probably not. Oh! Horse is disturbed too. <laughs> Wait! Huh? Wait, where's the girl? Where's Ursula? If I just had more time to taste all the food around here. <sighs> Missed opportunity. Where's the other one? I ain't telling you nothing. Someone will be busting us out of here any time now. You watch. Can you bring back my husband, please? Can he be the one to do it? <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> First place I went for audit since I was drawn to him the most, so when he left, I was like, wait, is this scripted to happen with whomever you marry? No, it's just him. I'm so happy. Like, I know it sounds weird, but I'm absolutely over the moon that we chose him. And like, it, it just adds more lore to my playthrough. Looks and sounds very unassuming, but has... Then has a bear that calls you pet names, and your ex-husband never calls you when you touch it. <laughs> it's like, Portia can get a little bit dark, for sure. See, that's why you don't become a pirate food. Audit first husband club, yes. <laughs> we can all just agree that, like, you know, we all went for him, and then we were, like, a little bit weirded out by everything. Um... I'm just gonna put that in there for now. And that can go in there. This is not organized in any way, shape, or form. Creepy way to I think his group makes for the most interesting playthrough. Yeah, or even if you didn't marry him, but you have, like, you know, him as a best friend and you actually do notice the loss. Um... Okay, should probably- I didn't do anything in game today, I just ran around. Um, we need more of the brick and four more of those boards. Are we crafting those? Mass produces weird bears. Oh god. Uh, okay, we're only making two more of those, we're gonna need more. Uh, so let's craft. There we go, and... Do 
So now that should say... Okay, it's just doing it separately. That's fine. Given a bear like that, I would simply throw it in a fire. It is kind of dark. But, like, imagine, you know, he's just been kicked out of town. He's kind of, like, low-key on the run. Um, oh, that's not the right type of board. Um, but he stops to make sure that he can give you this present. He, like, records those lines and stuff like that. I think it's a little bit weird that it's it's just the different pet names. Um, but I still think that's, like, low-key one of the coolest things I've seen in a game. <laughs> it's just so neat. I'm assuming that he will say something. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, do you want to say it again? I will say, though, if I wake up and this bear is moved, there's- we're gonna have issues. Also, Pinky, do you like your room? <laughs> this is now Pinky's room, and we're not gonna talk about this. Wait, hold for settings. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, yes, thank you. I should probably do that. Is the follow working again? Uh, all the alerts are switched back to stream elements, Andrew. <laughs> I gave up. I do have a workaround I'm gonna be trying tonight, though. Pinky's now my husband. <laughs> Thinking scraps of the children. No, yeah, all by myself. I get to starfish across this massive bed, and no one can stop me. I still don't really know how I feel about you. Time events in game are they just one-time events? If I miss, I'll never be able to do them again. Um, so the quests, like the main story quests, yes. Um, there are certain commissions that, like, I know I've done repeatedly, but for the most part, yeah, just because they're story related. But then again, there's also the events that happen year after year. Just got the mansion. I know, I just got the mansion. Like, you know, last week we, um... We, uh... Oh, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, we're getting ready for a baby. He asked yesterday morning if we could have one. There we go, we'll take that. How many switches do I have? Three. I have the ACNH one, which Mike bought me, uh, the Pokemon Sword Switch Lite, uh, which Mike bought me, and then my original Day One Switch, which I'm kind of very attached to, even though I don't really use it right now. Oh yeah, there's the Fireside on Sunday, right? Someone make sure to remind me, because I will forget. Hey Gigi, how are you doing? Okay, how are we, how are we doing here? Um... Uh... Can I make this now? Are we ready? Waterproof- oh, I'm holding the waterproof cloth. Um, yeah, we should be able to craft that, finally. Oh, wait, um... Aha! Nice. I just love how I'm just holding this honey above my head. <laughs> My day one switches on its way out, it makes me so sad. Yeah, I'm very attached to mine, so I'm not- like, I don't really want to get rid of it. But mine's very much the same. It's, uh, it's had a rough time. I wish we could see your future spouse's reaction to the bear. That would be actually very fun. That would be very fun. Oh, I put the roses away? Last two houses. No worries, we can have fun. There we go. So I think I'm just missing the wooden pillars for our reconstruction efforts here. Gosh, I should probably grab the horse. Also, this is Audit Sword, by the way. We did pick it up and it was like double the attack of our other hammer. We've been using that hammer for a long time, but... Your day one switch got stolen. That's awful. I'm sorry to hear about that. I, uh, I don't usually go too far with mine. Hey, short nightmare. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. All right. Finally, I'm sorry that took so long. All done. Let's design the sign together. 
Oh, this is cute. Alice would have been like my other choice next to Emily, I think. Lovely. I think this new sign is a big step up for the shop, don't you think? Oh. She's really cute. Uh, double attack. Plus five. Dang, that husband got you some offense. <laughs> Um, so we're- <laughs> we need to bring the school back, because he- my husband threw a school. Um, uh, I'd love- can we please appreciate their walking animations? I know that they're- they're chill now, but like... Come on, go stretch it even more, so I just completely walk two kilometers while sitting at my PC. I mean, that's kind of nice. Uh, right. Character's actually incredibly distraught about Audit leaving, like she wants to do nothing more than run out and chase after him. But she's the only person keeping the town running and it could literally cease functioning if you were to do so. So you're trying to keep peace while her inner turmoil is edging closer to boiling over every passing day. See, I love, I love the lore. I'm here for it. And the fact that it's it's very inconclusive, so like we can make make up hey, everything. You're here. Help yourself here. What? I just came here to deliver shampoo, dude. Okay, that's everything. I just have to remember what I learned back at the beauty school and Tara. I'll test out the shampoo on my brothers and let you know how it all turns out. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome, dude. Crispy outside. Tender inside. It's perfect. What do what do y'all eat? What do you what do you what are y'all having? <laughs> These strings keep me alive during first period. Oh, you're in class right now? Oh. That's not so good. <laughs> but, uh, I get it. I get it, though. Ice storm. Uh, our apartment got flooded due to pipes bursting. We had to move. We think the maintenance men in the apartment. Oh! <gasps> Your electronics in general. That's really, really bad. That's scary. Some kind of appearance. That's what we were saying. I was saying I, I actually went last night to watch uh, the Sandwalk trailers again, or like all the footage we've seen, because low-key I need to see the Rogue Knight in there, because I need to see my husband again. All right, it's Saturday. Spot the difference, chat. I was failing really badly at this yesterday. <laughs> See, I think I'm kind of lucky because the building I live in, the maintenance people are all just like, I know them personally, they're all really great, but it, it's it's scary to think of like, you know, inviting someone in to help you out and them, you know, kind of disrespecting you and, and taking stuff. Oh, Rebecca, that's weird. Um, we always have someone here to watch them. You don't trust people? Yeah, I think maybe I, I trust a little bit too much. Oh, wait, I wanted to buy more cloth, actually. Turn the nursery into a weapon display trophy room. <laughs> I love that, though. I love it. GBA was stolen by movers. I miss that thing so much. That's really unfortunate. The only thing I've ever actually had confirmed stolen and not just me lo losing it is uh, I had an MP3 player uh, that I absolutely adored and I left it in a car, probably in plain sight because I was a dumb kid, and uh, we went into Walt Disney World. It was stolen from the parking lot of Walt Disney World. <laughs> One of the many parking lots. And, uh, years later I now understand it's pretty common that people will just, like, you know, troll up and down Disney parking lots because people are going to be gone for a long time. And just kind of check for, uh, cars that are open or cars they can get into. I should probably put that in my house. I've been carrying it for a while. <laughs> Taking all my electronics, the new flat myself in your backpack? Yeah. Yeah, when I move, I have so much. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on everything. 
Stealing from the happiest place on earth, right? It's weird. Steal your iPod. A saucepan and a CD rack. <laughs> That's just unfortunate. Anyway, I hope that whoever stole... Uh, oh, well, I would have been about like 12. 12 or 13. Uh, your old crystals. MP3 player. I hope that they enjoyed their fair share of high school musical and all that other great stuff from that age. Um. Okay, so. What am I missing? We got everything. Oh, the waterproof cloths. Right, right, right. Stole some of my DS games, then had the audacity to claim they were her cousins and try to sell them to- Oh! Ew! Did you get, like, adults involved? Because that's some sketchy business. And, like, for a kid to be doing it? Like, you know, where are they learning that? Found something I got in through my second floor balcony and was in my apartment. Yeah, no, no, that's not cool. I would actually flip my- flip everything. <laughs> Can I buy a rope anywhere? Or do I have to make it myself? Actually, how much do I need again? Okay, so I'm gonna need a lot more. I started on High School Musical. I, uh, I was into it for the first one, and then second one onwards, I was... It was like the phase had passed. On Friday, I ended up bringing my Switch and 3S with me into uni just to make sure nothing happened to them while they had access to my room. Yeah. I was pregnant too. Yeah. No, I I would lose everything. I could just be horrified. Marriage in the Porsche News. We weren't even married for that long. It was all it was all very fast, to be fair. This was for his birthday party. <laughs> and there's still food left out. That's actually gross. Falling back in love with AC and H. Made a carnival and put your farm back yesterday. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. It's uh it's it's fun getting back into AC and H after so long. I know I'm kind of in the same boat. Fast asleep though. Such a good sleeper. <laughs> okay, um, so I can make like three right now. Oh, I actually only need three. Nice. There we go. Uh cool. Oh wait, in the waterproof cloths. Right, right, right. Uh so I need 10 of those. Just take 20 worn fur each. Holy jeez. Okay, so I can... Oh god, math. Two, six, eight. I can make four right now. I can't it on my fingers. Don't judge me. Ooh, Julian in. Hopefully I can get Norma to move in so you can village your hunt. Yes. The one's really cool looking too. I- Horse really doesn't like this table. Maybe I'll move that table. There we go. Is it weird? I almost don't feel like- I don't know if it's like side effect from being left by audit. I don't- QQ, you're taking the hard way, sweetheart. There's a path right here. I think QQ just is- Did you just walk through that tree? No, you're walking past it. Okay. Um, I don't want to befriend anyone else in game. I'm just kind of like, you know what? I'm cool. I'm happy. Can I just... Oh, I can't keep getting more? Oh. That would have helped to know. Pumpkin cupcakes. Yeah, hostess cakes are, are pretty good. QQ's a trailblazer. <laughs> right to someone else and they also leave town. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. Um, Albert is a good partner. No one's saying anything. Can we talk about my 
lost husband, please, Emily, girl? Oh, I'm so sorry, I just jumped on you. Try hanging out with my friends sometimes. They're really nice people. Okay, Emily's like, all right, girl, you gotta move on. They aren't over over there. They're really tempting, though. They're like probably a little bit too tempting. Um, uh, where's Shango? She's the one who I want to talk to. Hey, Courtney, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I'm uh really enjoying Porsche today. Having almost a very chill. Chilly yet chaotic day. <laughs> Django? See, I'm not friends with him, so I can't see him on the map. Uh, I have no idea. Have it kill Django and then flee. Can you imagine? Oh wait, I don't have to hold it to gift people in this Hi. game, do I? Stop by if you need any supplies. This smells incredible. Even though I'm not really in the mood to befriend people, I still feel like I should. Except for Higgins. We ignore Higgins. Uh... <laughs> I love scraps. So... Depending on when that, uh, worn fur comes in, we should be- Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Um... We should be able to... Oh, there he is. Uh, finish this commission soon here. Oh, that's awkward. I didn't want to sit down. <laughs> Drop by the restaurant if you ever feel like chatting. I've got loads of stories to share. I feel like they're meant to say something. Get a new Spider-Man trailer today. Anyone else weirded out by the idea that we get teasers for trailers these days? Oh. Like, it, it's... It's not just they put out a trailer, it's like, you know, we, we already know ahead of time when they're going to be put out and stuff like that. Also, hydrate, thank you. Okay, um... Can I... Oh my goodness, I definitely am. Oh, okay, so that's product storage. Oh, this is what you meant by being able to access it from outside. I didn't see those buttons yesterday. We got them before, they were just called leaks until now. <laughs> Purposely avoiding the Spider-Man ones. It's hard because there's so many. You pre-ordered diamond? Yeah, I'm getting pearl. Um, and yesterday, you guys, lucky if you guys are on Fan House, I do have one of those now. And I actually posted earlier today on the public wall, um, our layout for Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl. I do have that up and ready, and I am beyond excited. The team is moderately picked out, kind of. Mainly picked out. <laughs> Okay, so no ads. I have no idea about Hollywood. <laughs> What's the difference between Diamond and Pearl? Uh, legendaries? Legendaries are different, like the box ones, and there's some exclusives, like in terms of which Pokemon you get or can find. Other than that, I don't think there's that much difference from what we know. If a bunch of us do hydrate, will you chug a glass of water as fast as possible? No, because I'd probably be sick. And also, you guys can't because there's a cooldown on it. <laughs> um, hasn't even pre-ordered his yet, but the place I got mine and Lucy's. I'll have delays. Sassy sip. It was a sassy sip, but it was also awkward because I, like, bumped it into my mouth and it was just like that wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. Oh, you want fiber cl- I- mm. Sometimes I'm not the biggest fan. 
of how this system works. I have fiber cloth. Am I carrying it? I'm carrying it. Okay. Where's the circus? That's not even going to talk about the new game. Yeah. And I remember that having to wait. Do you name your star audit? Actually, no. Pat reminded me of this yesterday or the other day. I forget when. Uh, I almost forgot, but we did a charity stream a couple months ago, and I said that the top, um, top, uh, six donators I'd be naming my Pokemon after. So, I know who the top six people are, and I'm gonna be choosing, uh, their, uh, their Pokemon here soon. I might just randomize it, though. Yeah, Pepper. <laughs> uh, I wish there was a button that was just like as many as possible and like not just 99 or 999. Oh, it will be, but I've always named my Pokemon after people in chat, so it's it's no biggie. It's no biggie. Um, is there a place I can get? Let's look this up. I like how I just type M into my search bar, and it knows I want the My Time at Portia wiki. <laughs> That's how much I'm on it. Uh. Or in fur. Okay, so civil core. Colorful llamas, pan bats, and bander rats. I guess we're going after the pan bats and the llamas. Oopsies. Yeah, Diaz. I figured it'd be kind of cute. I just hope everyone's cool with that. Going back to Animal Crossing Yankee. We did one not that long ago. A couple nights back. Uh, but I definitely want to do more. Wow, this sword is crazy. I just pressed that button once. I just hit it once and it does that. Oh, Rosie, I just... I don't know. I was looking at the names and I'm just like, I hope everyone's like cool with being nicknamed. I don't know. I don't know. I always worry. It sounds great. Is something I'm gonna go with Piplup? Anything else? I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't sure until yesterday when I was talking to the mods and we were all just like, all right, what, what Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, Pepper, true. True. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I meant, like, I hope that the winners are cool with, like, you know, being nicknamed. Because I feel like I know one person in particular doesn't watch Pokemon, doesn't play. And I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> You're naming your Piplop for Itzy. Come here. And this sword is far too overkill, and I absolutely love it. Enter Shank Starly, yeah. I uh, I was also looking at my team for when we did Platinum, and I didn't want to do, like, the same team again, so... Other than Piplup. And the only reason I'm doing Piplup on stream again, by the way, is because off stream, I'm going Turtwig because Mike is going Piplup. <laughs> And we usually try to do different starters. I'm sorry, cuties. Grab one end, I'll grab the other. <laughs> Omni, how are you doing today? Welcome on it. Oh, I love that. Just pick a team of six, but do oh yeah, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give them that much free range. <laughs> 
cursed flirting. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to see how it how everything works. I know a lot of people aren't that happy with the art style. Why is that llama healing? This llama's magical. Um but I, I don't really mind the art style. I think it's kind of nice. Definitely turned to become a sucker for grass Pokemon. But yeah, um, and then the other thing that I usually like to do um, is for my own, you know, playthroughs. Uh, I always like to choose Pokemon I haven't used before, preferably. Obviously the starters, like, you know, if you're replaying a Pokemon game, you've probably already seen them all, or used them. Uh, but the other team members, I prefer using ones I haven't tried before. When we get Eevee. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like Platinum or like Original. Yeah, Link's Awakening, yeah, and I loved that art style. I think Link's Awakening maybe looked a little bit more polished, mind you. I like how the game's like, oh, it's late, and in my head I'm like, it doesn't matter, I'm not going home to anyone, I can just pass out here at three. There's no one to stop me. <laughs> Never. Okay, so that actually didn't take long at all. We now got a whole bunch of corn fur. Mystic, how are you doing today? Oh, and there we passed. <laughs> What happened to my husband? He was the bad guy. And uh, he got kicked out of town, so he he left us. <laughs> I wish I was making it up, but at the same time I don't, because it was a lot of fun. That is actually a thing that happened. Legit. My actual life right now in Portia. <laughs> no, it's fun. I love it. There we go, and from the Civil Core, we got some more worn fur. From Town Hall, we have an important announcement tonight at tonight's, sorry, I can't read. Important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting at Peach Plaza. Okay, you guys have to remember to remind me, not now, because I know some smart aleck is going to do it right now, later, to go to the fireside, okay? Chat, you guys got this. So they sent me a carving knife. They've upgraded from daggers into carving knives. Go the fight. See, uh, what did I just say? What did I just finish saying? Can't take you guys anywhere. <laughs> I don't know where I'm taking you, but apparently I can't take you anywhere. Random's not here. I have to. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Can we go out for ice cream? Sure, I'm here for it. Couldn't find some ice cream. Okay, so uh, we got our waterproof cloth. We just need s uh, seven more. Uh, we have 18 of those right now. God, why does it take so many? I'll just have this set and it'll eventually go, I guess, when it's ready to. There we go. Ordered fancy burger from fancy place for Brecky. Oh, heck yeah, what sort of burger? Hey, Kipaz, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Also, MCP, hello. And you wait too much, I mean, mood. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, it doesn't look like we got any quests going on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I get some more titanium going here. Dance out my coffee and I don't want to go in. That sounds really nice. It's getting very, very chilly here, unfortunately. Makes me kind of like not want to go outside. Oh. Oh, titanium bars. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I was just like, wait a minute. Where are these again? Told the name of the moist molly makes. Yeah, it's a little chirp. Yes. <laughs> I love those noises. Also, can I tell you guys about how much of a butt Ollie was being last night? My goodness. Is it like warm for you guys? Cold enough for snow to stick. Ugh. <laughs> So last night, right, I didn't have time to play with Ollie before bedtime. And I think he was protesting that and he was also just like wide awake in general. Um, so I'm minding my own business trying to get to sleep when I hear this weird noise, this weird repetitive noise. And I'm like, okay, Ollie's getting into something because that's, that's just too weird of a noise to ignore. I have a poster board in my room. If you guys watch the room tour, you may remember what I'm on about. I have a poster board above my room. Excuse me, Antoine. And I have actual posters on it, and I have them pinned. They're pinned into this poster board thing in mid It's like a cork board. I have it pinned into it. I have a Pokemon Sword and Shield banner. I have AC and H banners. Ollie was standing up on his little kitty cat tippy toes and trying to pluck the pins out of the board. Beyond the fact that it was annoying, he also could have swallowed a pin. So now I don't have any more posters up. Because I don't think, like, he doesn't know how dangerous that is, but I do, and I'm just like, oh my god, why are you like this? <laughs> why? <laughs> He's so gosh darn cute, but he is crazy into everything. It's legit what I assume having a toddler is like. Except there's absolutely zero reasoning with him. Does anyone see the difference here? He likes paint, that's the only thing she'll eat, which isn't food. Oh no. On the light? Oh, I see it. Thank you. Kitties don't let us have nice things. <laughs> Nothing is certain. Below a certain height, the problem is when kids learn to climb, yes. <laughs> I remember uh, when we had uh, Tiger uh, and Tika. Tika was a little kitten and Tiger was a bit older. And he was not sure at all about this kitten in his household. He was not sure. And, um... He used to hide from her by climbing to the top bunk of my bunk bed. And then one day she climbed up after him, and you should have seen his face. He was like, oh god. <laughs> Perhaps you can use tape. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. He was also digging at them. Oh wow, someone angled this pot lid. There we go. My nose is so itchy today, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, it's the stuff that Sonny tried to eat. <laughs> Cats eat string, oh dear lord. I found Ollie with some rubber bands the other day, that was scary. You got it. yeah, thank you, thank you. I, um, I kind of wish there, there was like zero delay. But then again, you guys have to type to say stuff, so it would still take a while, but... Um... Okay, yeah, we're still just kind of sitting here waiting. Yes, Sentry, absolutely. That's going to be this evening. So what I'll do, I think, is we're just going to decimate the llama population, keep getting the worn fur, uh, because we are going to need a lot of waterproof cloth, I've been told. 
And we need the worn fur to start that, so... No worries, Trevor. Yeah, my mom has a horrible story. I'm sorry if anyone's eating. Of, um... Pulling... Tinsel. I think it was. Out of, uh... Out of the cat. I won't say which end, but you can have an idea. Not any of our current cats. It was a long, long time ago. Because she decided to eat the tinsel right off the tree. And, uh... That was gross. <laughs> I think it was tinsel. Something stringy that was on a Christmas tree. Which we don't have on our trees anymore for that reason, actually. Go to the vet last week because he had overgroomed so much. We had a massive bald patch. Yep. Yep. Fortunately, the vet said he couldn't see any signs of what he'd be doing that. Yeah. We had a cat who um, we think had allergies, but also was just very anxious. She did the same thing. And it was very seasonal. Like, she may have it every now and then. It wasn't constant. Mushroom. Ooh, Missy, that sounds yummy. She's been able to reject the string she's eaten. Yeah. <laughs> she still wants to. Yeah. It, like, for Tika, honestly, when she was over grooming, it was the sort of thing where, you know, as long as she's not damaging the skin, you know, if she needs a little stress patch, that's okay. It was only on her tummy. She always had a bald belly. And there's that little pouch. There's actually a name for it. It's not just like a fat thing. A uh, little pouch cats have on their tummies that wobble down. Uh, when she would sit, you'd see this little bald patch underneath her and it was actually adorable. <laughs> little pouch. <laughs> Um, and if it was cold and he went to pet her belly after she'd been sitting on the floor or something, oopsies, um, it would just be a little, little cold pouch. <laughs> Doesn't like the white bit. Yeah, she's just getting rid of that bit. But yeah, it, it, it was to a point where we're like, we know that Tika won't handle the collar very well. She's not harming herself. It's literally just the fur. She might have more hairballs than usual, but we just left her. Operation with Ed Sheeran, I'm so confused. I feel like Pokemon has been having a lot of weird, like there was the Katy Perry thing, the, was it Post Malone was the other one? A lot of like, just collaboration things. Well, I will say, I love this sword. Oh, I should probably go buy some more uh, cloth as well, actually. This is ghost specifically. That is kind of weird. Oh wait, is this their their shark pilot plane thing? <laughs> A week's worth of calories. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the sword's quite it's not as it's not as crazy looking as the hammer though. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> Alright, let's buy some more of this. But yeah, definitely tonight before bedtime, I have to make sure that we get some, uh, some Ollie playtime in because he definitely reminded me last night. He's like, you didn't play with me. I'm bored. I'm awake. <laughs> I'm going to legitimately just get into everything and then cry at you. So they're going, they're working.
All right, um... Have some more stuff to put away here. Mimsy last night. Uh, but the pupper takes up all of our time, energy, and play that we tend to leave her for last. Yeah, I definitely get that. We're very used to having cats that are very lazy. They're older, they're lethargic, they just want to sleep and cuddle. Whereas Ollie's very young and crazy and needs playtime because he gets he gets bored. And it's it's easy to kind of fall into the habit we've had for so many years of not playing with him or doing the play that our old cats are used to. Am I going to remarry? No, I've, I love being the widow right now. I think it's kind of fun, actually. I have this massive mansion. I was promised a baby, but I won't get one. And I just, I think it's kind of cool. I like the, oh, there's the fireside <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's lore. It's lore and we can build it up however we want. Who am I befriending still? I, I still don't really feel the need to befriend anyone. Because Odd is my best friend and not my husband. Uh, Gail, we're nearly done with Mars. We were working on Arlo. How do we finish with Arlo? Anyway, I'm interested to see if, if they're going to mention anything about the Rogue Knight here, so... I like how we're all just standing here waiting <laughs> under mysterious circumstances. I really want to see if they're going to say anything. I don't think they will. But welcome everyone to this fireside. I'll share as much as I can and try to answer any questions that you may have. Let's see where to begin. You see, there was always a rumor that there was this very powerful AI called All Source in the ruins around Portia and that it could control other AIs. It turned out to be true, all of it. I love the name Bonkers, that's adorable. <laughs> Higgins wants your fortune. A while ago, we discovered the existence of a location marker that could locate this All Source. It was stolen from this research center but later mysteriously returned. The thief turned out to be an unknown knight. I married that knight. With this information, Molly took the location marker and headed for Atara. Her plane was shot down over the Ufala Desert in an ambush by the Sky Shark Pirates. Luckily, although wounded and left to die, Molly survived. The pirates, led by second captain Ms. Everglade, took the location marker from Molly's crashed plane and came here masquerading as council guards from Atara. They had a mole working the telegrams to back up their legitimacy. Although we were cautious and had our suspicions, the pirates hid their disguise well. They were about to take the all-source unit from right under our noses when Molly contacted us from Atara. She had finally returned and launched an investigation that captured their mole. With her information in hand, our civil corps and some brave citizens confronted the pirates and the knight in a final battle and came out victorious. Everyone cheers. <laughs> we have two pirates captured here in Portia, but unfortunately, their leader and the knight are still at large. Through interrogations of the mole in Atara, we found out that they're working for the Duvos Empire. He got away. Why am I happy about this? I don't know why I'm very happy about it. I I need to stop liking the bad guys, apparently. I knew it. <laughs> Mars is like, I knew it from the beginning. <laughs> Always Duvos. What will the Alliance do? So far, the Duvos Empire has denied their involvement. But due to their brazen act in our territory, the Alliance has thrown out their emissary and has also decided to back up Athea in their standoff with Duvos. This sounds serious. Will it come to war? It is serious, but I don't think it'll come to blows. I'm hopeful anyway. Or the Empire. <laughs> what of all source? Isn't it dangerous? We haven't made a decision on all source yet. The final decision on what to do with it will rest on us since it's found in our territory. If it's truly dangerous to humanity, we might have to destroy it. So it says she and her, but he said it. All right. 
How do we know that Duvos won't be sending more knights after this AI? Like right now? You can send back the rogue knight, I'll take him. Good question. Um, the uh, Alliance Council will be sending a few investigators our way in a few days' time. And I don't think Duvos wants their relationship with the Alliance to deteriorate any further. So I'm cautiously optimistic that there will be no further incidents. But the Civil Corps is on alert. Brandon, very nice. And Mighty Al, you're absolutely correct. He was fine with Ak and like, yeah. <laughs> We've been doing an assessment of the damages done to our town. A&G will be fixing these up over the next season, including the school. <laughs> We'll come out of this stronger and more united than ever. We'll show Duvos we're not someone that they can just walk over. Before we go, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank and Higgins for their bravery in dealing with the pirates and the knight. Without their help, we might not have come out of this victorious. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to thank and Higgins. <laughs> Thank you for learning my name. I've only lived here for two years. <laughs> Could someone clip that, please? Honeywood, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Anne Higgins for their bravery. <laughs> I love Portia so much, but I really hope Sandrock doesn't do this. Pikachu? Pikachu. Hello? Give give it give it a second give it a second wait a minute wait a minute P can you guys hear that I can't hear that I don't know why that's not working manually but I'll have to fix that later or automatically sorry <laughs> there you go oh my goodness. Oh, shucks. <laughs> okay, that's for me, not for Higgins. Higgins doesn't deserve it. All right. That's all for this evening. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to find me. You know where I work and live. <laughs> Gosh darn, Higgins, why am I standing next to you? Ugh. He doesn't even know my name. He called, actually, I guess that's better than Gail being like, uh, <laughs> I have no idea what her name was. Um,. Oh, look at these two together. Cuties. Um, no pie, I know, right? Um, Higgins, but when he leaves, he out. Um, Higgins just called me rival yesterday, and I thought that was the funniest thing. I'm very easily entertained. <laughs> this game is great. Okay, how is our stuff doing okay we just need three more waterproof cloth and we are good to go pokemon rival i guess so i guess he didn't catch my name um <laughs> he has no idea who i am <laughs> I don't know, I... You guys know I love Stardew to pieces. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I will continue to play it probably forever. It's just that good. Um, but I didn't think I was going to get so invested in Portia, even starting this stream uh, or starting this playthrough. I was just like, you know, I like Portia. It's fun. But there's a lot in this game that Stardew doesn't do or Stardew maybe can't do. But just the story alone, the fact that it's post-apocalyptic, the fact that there's someone who you can marry who just leaves you. You don't have to marry him, but you can. Like, it's so cool. Got the condom gyroid. Buy an oil AD suit, I'm so hyped because I'll do a non-time travel and no terraforming island. Ooh, that sounds fun. Have have fun, enjoy it. Let us know what you think of the OLED screen, because I've seen a lot of like reviews on it. And it seems gorgeous, but it seems like it's hard to tell if you're trying to, like, record it versus in person. Oh, and thank you so much for the clip, by the way. I do appreciate that. 
I should probably start bringing my horse for these little uh, slaughtering adventures. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that they did, uh, there was an overview trailer they released yesterday, I think, for, um, the new Pokemon games. And, uh, they called him Rival in that. So we're probably gonna go with tradition and call him Mick again. This much plot detail and lore, yeah. Got to play on PC too, I think a lot of people who play on Switch missed out on getting this far. Yeah, I was reading, I don't think, um... The audit leaving saying, oh, so I, I read something about it not triggering correctly on Switch, or there was some sort of lock on it. I know that there's some quests that don't even happen on the Switch. I hope I can buy this game because I'm loving the story and lore. I really hope you guys do get it if you're at all interested. Um, I will say, just get it on PC if you can. Uh, or I guess another platform, I don't know. I think Switch is the one that has the major issues. <laughs> TBC must be ill. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ran oh! I was gonna say random, sorry. Uh, Brenda, I don't even know how to say that, but I'm tempted. It's a random llama population. <laughs> Lights are LED, so when I saw the screen in person, I decided to get one as soon as possible. Yeah, if, especially if you really only play handheld. Yeah. It looks, like, just from the, the review videos I've seen, it looks amazing. I don't play handheld enough to justify it, but... Oh, Dias, I hope that you can get one. I love this sword. At least he left me a sword to remember him by. I don't think he meant to, but he did. <laughs> I do still have burning issues. I couldn't get the old lady switch. I'd be too scared of it happening. Does it actually? I haven't had any burning on my own uh, switch. But, um. I also don't usually. Like, again, I don't usually play handheld. I don't usually leave it on. You do sound. Oh! Right, there's the snow, right, I remember this from last year. We're going into, uh... Uh... Winter. <laughs> in game. Oh, and we passed it outside in the cold. And our husband wasn't here to take care of us. Yeah, I put mine to sleep, too. Oh... A little teddy bear. I think I'm gonna take a picture of this and just maybe have that be the thumbnail for this morning, just because that is kind of... That's kind of a big deal. There we go. It's a sad winter. <laughs> oh, at least Pinky's enjoying her room. <laughs> I wish Scraps, like, I know he has his dog bed and stuff like that, or, like, his, his dog house, but I wish he'd come inside more, too. Oh, wow. Well. How are you doing, dude? Hello. <laughs> oh, la, la. Best try. Um. Yeah, there we go. Just because I don't look after my animals. <laughs> Be storing your island with snow. Ooh, wear the Ouija hat. Can do. Can do. It's a good thing I've been keeping it close by. <laughs> there we go. I'm only gonna wear it for a little bit if that's cool with you guys, just so I don't overheat. So I realized after taking it off yesterday, I most certainly was. Hi, are you just creeping outside my house? All right, from the Commerce Guild. Uh, there we go. That's nice. Civil Corps. 
Dear Builder, recently we were able to check out the ruins at the base of the mountains in the marsh. There turned out to be a hazardous ruin. We checked it out. It goes very deep into the earth. We'll tentatively open it up for diving, but adventurers beware there are dangers lurking inside. Oh. Has the curly method going with your hair. It's been really liking it. It definitely has. Um, my hair feels very soft and I'm, I'm actually enjoying it a lot. There we go, some more worn fur from Petra. Can you bring Ak by the research center sometime? We're having a little trouble with the all sorts. She doesn't seem to believe a lot of what we say. I thought maybe Ak can help. Okay. Uh, number one position. Yes, I think that's like third month in a row, fourth month in a row, maybe. Nice. Uh, from Dana, I found that your management fee is about to expire. You may still want to order a higher quality ore. Please come to Ingles Mine as soon as possible. Okay. And more worn fur. Talk to Ak. Let's do this first. Yes. Can you come with me to the research center? We might need your help communicating with all sorts. Smack me silly. I've been trying to build up my courage to go see this unit. I have so many questions to ask. Honey, what I'd say usually just like turning off your screen. Uh not leaving it on and like on the same image for too long. Do you really have nothing to say? Hello. Chat. Seafood stew mix. I don't think Goodbye. I got any of that, dude. Sorry. Yeah, there are ways to get rid of burn in from what I've seen if you do have it, but I think it depends on like how bad it is and stuff like that. Because I had burn in on my old phone screen, uh, which was super, super bad, and I, I never was able to get rid of it. Yes, that's it. I can't teleport when I'm not synced with my station. I don't really like teleportation anyway. Well, she has a cute voice. Fascinating. Can you tell us how teleportation works? My dear Petra, you must understand that AIs are not all-knowing. My sole purpose was to control other AI systems and make them work as a unit. My code for teleportation is to turn it on and off. And I don't like teleportation. It gives me a yucky feeling. By the way, I don't want to sound rude, and I can sometimes, but who are the two blokes standing there? I do recollect one of them hit me over and over, and I don't like being hit. Sorry. My husband was using you to destroy things. Oh, sorry about that, but we had to get you under control. All source, this is Ak, and he's been living here in Portia for a while. We thought maybe he can tell you a bit more about our current world. Holy banana split! L Lara? No, you're mistaking me for someone else. I do that a lot as well. My interface name is Wendy. Pleased to meet you, Ak. You're the first living AI I've seen in 330 years, 2 months, and 11 days. Wow, I'm getting all emotional now. It's been so... Lonely. Yes, I lost contact with all of my interface AIs one by one during the war the humans were calling the Day of Calamity. I've been alone ever since. I hate being alone. Wendy, where did your human co-workers go? They all abandoned Dubai when it was attacked by orbital railguns. I thought I was going to die. I'm sorry to hear that. I cannot imagine what it was like. I ship it. <laughs> Miss Wendy, let me sync with you. I'll let you access all my memories since I landed here in Portia. It'll catch you up on what the current world's like. A lot has changed in the last 300 years. Hey girl, you want to sink later? <laughs> Do you want to trade fossils later too while we're at it? Got McDonald, now we got Wendy's. <laughs> Landon, did you fall from a space station or something? <laughs> oh, don't tell me you actually did. This ought to be interesting. Here, plug in. I'm not saying anything, I'm being good. Director, how long will this take? Corn <laughs> dog on a stick! A lot has changed! Oh, now she's taking up his speech patterns? What did I tell you? That was fast. 
Chat, look away, this is private. <laughs> and I'm sorry about Lara. I have missing friends as well. I don't like having missing friends. Let's be friends. A pleasure, Ms. Wendy. You too, Builder. I saw that you have been treating App kindly. I want to be your friend as well. In fact, I kind of like this town already. Who knew I was so close to civilization all this time? I should have known. Miss Wendy, I saw from our sink that you're running out of power? Well, yes. I didn't want to mention it, but my power supply was damaged during our spar. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't like feeling embarrassed. She doesn't like a lot of things, does she? That's okay. Maybe we could help you with that. Do you need a replacement? Let me see. My internal diagnostic shows that part of the auxiliary power unit was damaged. At this rate, I'll bleed energy until I shut down soon. I'll need to replace the high voltage power supply and its power converter. Interesting. I've never seen a schematic like this. It looks complicated. Do you know how to make it? Like I told you before, Director, but I'm not some know-it-all. I knew a factory AI who knew how, but I haven't talked with her in a long time. I miss talking with her. She was fascinating. Well, we'll accept the challenge. Come on, Petra, let's take a look. And you'll be helping us with this, correct? Sure thing. Great. First things first. Can you get us five data disks to help with the research? Oh, yes, Thanks. please. I'll let you know first thing when we figure something out. Okay, power for all sorts. This is very interesting. I'm thinking, is this what we're calling it now? It's neat that, like, we've been hearing about all sorts since pretty much the very beginning of the game, and finally we're actually talking to it? Or her? Oh, you have the hair with the ribbon? Very nice, Brand. I know a lot of people are after that one. I don't think that was there before. Was it? Weird. Petra bribing it. Yeah, Petra's always after, after those data disks. <laughs> Alice, what's up, girl? Oh, hey. Thanks again for helping me with my flower shop makeover. I've been receiving more customers now than I've ever had. My flower garden is just about ready for a big harvest, meaning a big new stock of flower bouquets are on its way. With this new stock, I'm planning to do my very first flower bouquet sale. That sounds great, Alice. To be quite honest, I'm both excited and nervous. There are preparations to be done, and I would feel much more at ease with another helping hand. Could I ask for your assistance once more? Really, Alice at all costs. She's lovely. All sorts, but it becomes a chef all sauce. <laughs> I can always rely on you. First, we need to put up posters around Portia to let everyone know of the sale. Let's put one in Central Plaza and another in Peach Plaza. Pepper, enjoy. I uh, I did sign on to check my turnip prices, by the way, you guys. This morning, if you guys are also joining us in the turnip trade, <laughs> uh, remember to check your prices. Mine are random this week, 100%. They're fluctuating. Uh, I had 126, 125 yesterday, and then 101 this morning. So, I'm not going to be the one with good prices this week, even though I was last week. I guess that's kind of why. <laughs> um, you're at 102, Brandon, so you guys want to go on, check yours. We do have the uh, Turnip Trader role now on Discord. If you guys haven't already seen, you can apply for that role. And if you get good prices, you can add people with that role to trade, uh, or have people come on over, or... Um, there we go. You can also be added if someone has a price like above 300, so. Forgot to check yesterday in the afternoon. Is Alice's story really nice too? She seems lovely. If I ever do another playthrough, it's probably going to be her or Emily who I go All for. All done? That's great. I'm just about ready, but before we begin the sale, we will need to hand out some pamphlets. I will stay by the shop and hand out pamphlets to any passerby. Could you hand these ones out to a range of townspeople in Portia? The people on this list will likely be interested in the sale, so please search for them. Okay, um... Uh, well, I guess we can do this now. I, I didn't really have much else going on, so... Alice's flowers are on sale? Then I have to go and see! 
Okay, yeah, so whatever. I, like, get my hair professionally shampooed. Big deal. I do whatever it takes to maintain fabulousness. What? You don't see any difference? Can't you at least, like, smell the difference? Uh, I handed you a pamphlet, ma'am. She just suddenly goes on about her shampoo. <laughs> 114. Hate her so much. See, I'm sure she's probably nice enough. It's just listening to her. Oh. No, not in this place. Alice's flower shop is having a sale? Good. I can buy some flowers for my date. Who are you dating at the moment? Like, I feel like you must have gone through everyone in town at this point. Not even trying to be rude, it's just low key. There you are, I knew it'd be you. <laughs> is Alice Florist going to be on sale? I'm sure to check it out. I love Sanwa's new shampoo so much. I just went to get my roots done, and now I feel like I'm swimming in a sea of flowers. Okay, well, I'm glad you like it, buddy. I think he wanted to, and then it was, it was, uh, Sonia and just, like, everyone. Flower carpet, rubber belt. Oh, look at the rubber belt one. Anton's really cool, actually. He seems... Like a lot of fun. Uh, all right, we're going up to the clinic next. I really should start bringing. I don't know why today. I just have not been bringing my horse with me at all. Arcane, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. Is Alice's floor shop having a sale? I'll definitely check it out. I love Just how it's between you and me. I do use it. Okay. <laughs> I like how um, the dialogue for this quest in particular, it hasn't really matched at all. I'm having a pretty good day so far. We got some Tim Hortons this morning. I have some Timbits that I haven't dug into just yet. Uh, having fun with the lore of Portia, and that's about it, honestly, so far. Just kind of having a nice, chill start to my day. Getting something to eat, enjoy your food. Phew! Thanks for your help. We are now ready to begin the big flower shop sale. I'm so excited. Damn it. <laughs> I appreciate you telling me about flowers, but this shampoo, though, right? <laughs> it's a bit weird. It's interesting that it seems to be almost the same people who were related to the shampoo quest or related to Alice's quest here. Hi, I'm December it's all snowy. Oh, so that's cute. Okay. Hi. Okay, let's see. Uh, are you still working? You're still working, okay. Yeah, we should have enough to finish this right now, actually. It's just a matter of waiting for it. Let's go ahead and do that. We got a chair out of that, and just ate an entire pot, because why not? And the best sound ever. Just be careful about spamming the uh, sound alerts, so we want to make sure everyone has access to using them. <laughs> uh, well, our dining room's gonna be a bit mismatched, but part of me is also just like, I guess it doesn't really matter, because... We're the only ones who are going to see it. <laughs> yep, this match is... <laughs> this is a little bit sad. <laughs> uh... 
Okay, so we just gotta put this stuff away. I'm also just gonna shove those in there. Um, I also don't need to be holding on to that anymore. Cool. Maybe we should run around gifting today while we're waiting, because we're literally just waiting on the cloth to finish. Complete the DLC, very nice. I've heard uh, a couple different people have done that now. And uh, I hope that you guys found it worth it. I hope you guys liked it. I'm hoping we can get some more playtime in for the DLC, because I, I definitely prefer the main story a bit better. Go oh, one more. We just need one more. Close to end game. In this, uh, I think we are pretty much getting there. Yeah, I know that there's some more left, but taking my time so much to do with my island. I'm really enjoying the new dailies and all that good stuff. So, like, definitely the, um, the DLC is kind of on the back burner for me right now. Hello. I like the hot pot. I don't have to eat any veggies. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think I was just giving you... Oh, where? Oh, there they are. I bet you gave this a lot of thought. Huh. I really appreciate it. There we go. Not really as in not really I'm in endgame, or not really as in there isn't a lot more to do. <laughs> uh, all right, and then we got you. Hello. My son Gus is. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. Not really endgame. Just. Like, I've been looking at the wiki and at, like, the missions, just the names and the list of them. And going in order, we're getting much closer to the ending now. It looks like if we're just doing main missions, which is kind of what I'm focusing on. Um, but I did still expect them to take some time. <laughs> Sentry. Uh, is QQ at home? QQ is at home. Oh, I like how they have pumpkins and stuff still in here. Oh, it's a mood. <laughs> Rosie, enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch. Okay, let's go see Arlo, because we were also kind of working on him. I still haven't opened this. I've been passing by it since the very beginning. Nice. <laughs> Just enjoy the interior decorating. Yeah. I know a lot of people do as well. A lot of people are just, you know, that's kind of something that they really like. And I think the new things that they've added kind of open up the possibilities. He just left. <laughs> hey, Nora likes my adventure stories. I like to have her as an audience. I ship that. I think it's, oh, I did not mean to fight you. I'm so sorry. I was trying to, Arlo, you're going to have your butt kicked. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. This wasn't on purpose. Come here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he just gave me some roasted meat. I lose yours. Just trying to befriend him. Uh, this. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. I get go. Oh, uh, I don't think Phyllis is there right now. Pretty sure I have her picture unlocked, don't I? Maybe I don't. Oh, I guess not. Wait, since 1.30 a.m. No worries. Enjoy your nap. Rest well. It will always be yours. <laughs> Gosh, I love your walking animation. I guess that's just kind of their new area, right? They just walk around there. Probably 
Dad's food. <laughs> um, alright, well, let's see. There we go. That should be everything we need. Yep. That waterproof cloth, though, geez. It's annoying to get. Okay, so we're handing this in to Albert. Wherever he went off to? Albert? Inside? Unless I'm not handing it to Albert. You give them to Albert. No, okay. Weird. Oh, Albert's home. Okay, I didn't realize it was back here. I actually had no idea where he lived. Oh, dude, your house is... Interesting. I, what is that? I hadn't even been in here. Cool. This is very helpful. Thanks. I'm friends with everyone. <laughs> nice. Don't kink shit. Oh dear. Okay, let's check what I have being made right now. Oh, you know what I actually wanted to make more of? Um, I realized we were low on this yesterday and I didn't do anything about it. More carbon steel. Um, and we're making the fiber cloth. Oh, I need to make those for the commission, right? <laughs> uh, let's get three of those down. And we'll put these back too. Ooh, maybe make some more composite wood boards as well. I think my only thing um, with this factory is I wish the tutorial had been a little bit clearer because I was really confused when we first got it. The rightmost green panel? Which one? I'll go back and check. Horse, what are you doing? Okay. This one? Right, see, like, I looked at this and I had no idea what I was looking at. Uh, increase the production rate. And I didn't have research notes, so I, I had no idea what this was all about. <laughs> um, and... see wrong button. That one's being worked on. So again, we're just kind of... Oh, is it in the research center? Okay. I'll try to remember to go check that out tomorrow. Uh, I can finally redecorate villager home so I can remove that damn hat in Gloria's house. <laughs> I have to sidestep just to get into she place in a weird place. Oh, 
I'll go for pan bats here. I feel kind of bad, but at the same time with this sword, they, they don't feel anything. Super fancy. I say, you know, every once in a while, treating yourself is great. I'm here for it. Right, right, where do you enter? Oh, sure. I do have to say though, um, looking at Sandrock, the character models and everything look so much better than in this one. Ooh, big llama. Oh, he's down already. Um, but I do wonder, and I found this with Skyrim. Uh, I got a little bit bored of the atmosphere of Skyrim just because I found everything incredibly gray. It was a very snowy place, obviously. Um, and there were some more green areas, but... And there was that nice fall, like, orangey area. I found it very dull, and I wonder if, like, the sand, like, that color scheme is going to get to me eventually, compared to Porsche, where it's maybe a little bit more diverse. A dishwasher and his prices, though, I'm trying to find one that has good reviews. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to begin when looking to buy a dishwasher. We've never had one. <laughs> Oh, apparently I already had rubber belts in here? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, apparently I already had one. Nice. We'll hand that in tomorrow. So tired, but it's barely 6 p.m. where you are. I mean, you know what? I'm a grandma who goes to bed early, but <laughs> I'm always going to be the one to say, if you're tired and you want to sleep, you know, I wouldn't say there's like an acceptable time for bedtime. If you can sleep until the next morning, if you wake up early, it kind of defeats the purpose. Doing for similar reason. Interesting, can a desert be? It was really pretty though. Yeah. I'm I'm very excited for it. Still, mind you, like I think it's gonna be great. But I sleep randomly. I have a very set sleep schedule. That's for sure. Alrighty, uh, I'm just gonna take off the hat. I think I wore it for more than enough time, and uh, my head was getting a bit toasty. Skyrim World is too lonely, but it is a deep game. I, I did enjoy it. I, I think Skyrim is in that list of games for me that I will never ever finish. Same with Fallout. The Most of them, like all of them. <laughs> Arcane, thank you! Uh, I just kind of accepted the fact that they're too big. I'll never finish them. I enjoy them to pieces, but it'll never happen. Ever. I just, I side quest too much. Okay, let's see if we got any results, shall we? Ooh, I need to go and upgrade our, or renew our subscription. Found a way to power Wendy. It's not pretty, but it should work. Ach Ak actually gave us some ideas. Here's the diagram for the high voltage power supply. When you have it done, come to the research center and we'll install it on her. Oh, I thought he wanted to, like, have a quest. Okay, so we need military engines, aluminum plates, copper coils, silicon chipsets. Uh, aluminum plate, silicon chipset. I have the memory of a teaspoon. Uh, military engine. Uh, aluminum plates. 
I might not have any more of those. I do have the copper coils, but not enough. Yeah, I don't have any of those. Okay, but we have plenty of materials, so we can make that. Tomato sandwiches, lettuce, bologna, and parmesan, some cucumber. Oh my god, Rosie, wait, that sounds really good. <laughs> can I? Can I join in on that? That sounds great. Enjoy it. Ooh, Brandon, keep an eye. If you have, like, good prices again tomorrow, you may have a, uh, a bit of a spike going on there. Up on the train. I'll be there in, like, many, many hours. <laughs> no. There we go, and the engine. Then we're just waiting on these two. Uh, there we go. Okay, so why don't we go get our subscription for the uh, the ore going again. We'll come back. Hopefully that stuff is... Uh, actually, it might not be done. <laughs> uh, I did want to go there and do the research center stuff all at once, but we might have to wait. We could also work on our fishing, too. And I wanted to see about our tools, because I heard something about being able to upgrade them again. Then again, I've been using the chainsaw and stuff, and we got a better sword, so maybe I'm not too fussed about getting the tool upgrades. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I was looking at Arlo on my map, and I'm like, wait a minute. I actually was trying to do something with him. Come here. Come, stop. Are you gonna fight things? I don't know why I get the items from him fighting here, but I do. Arlo, let me talk. Arlo, Ar no, horse. <laughs> Arlo, come back. Hi. There we go. Nora likes my adventure stories. I like to have her as an audience. It really is a nice present. Thank you. I got the achievement generous just now. I know it wouldn't pop up in your guys' screen, but... Arlo, I only talk with my fists. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, I have a question of the day, you guys. This is stolen from Reddit. Shamelessly. Um, if someone appeared to you and said they were you from the future... They look like you, you know, older. But they said they were you from the future, and they said, don't do this, or do this, or, you know, break up with so-and-so. Like, you know, they told you to do something, <clears throat> and said it would <clears throat> make your future better. Would you listen? <clears throat> my voice is going on me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, boy. Anyway, would you listen? Or would you, uh... Would you ignore it? Spike seed stain? No. Oh, I can just, like... There we go. Now I don't have to remember. What was the question? If someone came to you claiming to be you from the future and they looked enough like you and, like, you know... They were saying, do this, don't do that you know, do something, whether it's break up with someone, or quit your job, or get this job, or, you know, saying that it would change your future and, and help you out. Would you do it? Would you actually listen? Meant to happen, so even if I would listen to my future self and not do certain things, I have a feeling they would happen regardless, yeah. That's what Raven taught you. I'd ask for proof, but I need to think. Not just do this essentially, since you would know how annoying I think it is to be told to do something, yeah. It's like, could you ha could you handle talking to yourself? Would you find yourself annoying, maybe? Being my life spoilers. <laughs> how would they know the other path is better? Yeah, like, okay, say for example, 
It's a good question. Uh, say, for example, um, you broke up with someone and you, you think it was a horrible, horrible choice. So you go back in time to try to fix it, maybe. It's like, okay, don't break up with them. <laughs> I, th I guess it's it's a kind of a question of is the grass greener on the other side sort of deal. First bun, sorry, I uh, know I'm completely on board with that, but if it's like never eat pizza again, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Or future normal. <laughs> Hi. Hi. There we go. Oh. So you're going to let it live on? Oh, Lee's not going to be happy about this. Yes, for the nth time, if we don't get her a new supply of power, she'll eventually shut down. Isn't that a good thing? Look at what it did to Portia. The type of sorcery it pulled off. I know we don't always see eye to eye, Director, but this relic really is dangerous. Don't you agree? That's what you said about Ark back then as well, and he turned out okay. Gale, now I have seen that AIs like Mr. Ark can be good for society, I'm not blind, but I also saw that all source almost destroyed our town. How do we know it won't do it again? The control unit on her body has been destroyed. Her power supply has also been damaged. She literally can't do that again, even if she wanted to. <laughs> Look, arguing it here won't do us any good. Let's go talk with Wendy. All right, I'll... I guess I'm on... I'm... Okay, you guys are just vanishing as you walk. Did we actually see them, or were they ghosts? Dreams are gone. You're a parallel world. Yeah. It's an interesting idea. Oh, there you are. I've been trying to find you. Hi. Gosh, look at Toss making his way downtown. Heck yeah. <laughs> Seafood noodles. Oh, I can, I can get you that. There you go. I'll see you. It's a ghost town. You sound like my grandpa. No offense, Minister Lee. <laughs> you sound like my grandpa. <laughs> ah, how so? You see, my grandpa taught me all the control interfacing programs, and he sounded just like you. He would always caution against everything and anything. He was programmed that way, sure, but it was annoying. I'm implying you're also annoying. Oh, shots fired. Wendy's shoot. Oh, wow. You've been here for five minutes, girl. Tone yourself down. That's so very rude of you. <laughs> Lee's like, I really don't like technology now. I'm sorry. I was taught to be frank and never tell a lie. My grandpa taught me that as well. Well, then, I like your grandpa. <laughs> tell me, Miss Wendy, if you stay here in Portia, what would be your goal? I don't know, Mr. Mayor. I'm still adjusting to the fact that there are humans again. I thought I was going to die a lonely death when the power in the data center ran out. It was so frightening. Then all of a sudden, someone gave me a command, and I am among humans again. My primary mission was always to delegate data and commands. Now, I don't even have anyone to delegate to. I'm sure Ak would let you. I'm just saying, he seems to like you a lot. <laughs> I guess I'm still trying to find myself in this new world. I hope you do. I have one final question. Wendy, do you promise to never hurt our town again? I never meant to hurt it in the first place, Minister Lee. I'm a supercomputer. I wasn't programmed to hurt anyone. My teleportation mechanism was used for transportation and evacuation. I am truly sorry. Gosh darn it, audit. <laughs> so, what do you think, Lee? Our church would never turn away a lost soul, now would we? Well said. But, uh, Director, do you think we can get this teleportation thing to work again? No, 
don't think so. It's far beyond our understanding. And Windy doesn't know, since she always drones on about how she's not a... Know it all? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Right then. Eight. All right, I'll be back. Sorry, seven. Windy outside, I have to stay outside because I'm doing... Wait. I'm assuming you're walking your neighbor's dog? <laughs> oh my god, Tuss. Heck yes, I am so here for him. He like he has like a little like he's listening to some music as he goes or something. Hi. I wonder if I could throw a snowball at Carol and get away with it. That's your wife and she's right behind you. <laughs> what are you thinking, this dude? Smells incredible. My mouth is already watering. Oh, the congrats about removing the stick. <laughs> From your butt about computers, gross. We l we're here for it. What's wrong with these people? Everything, but I love it. I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> oh, I forgot to buy the stuff from the. Gosh darn it! I was so caught up in Wendy calling out Lee. I forgot to buy the research notes. <laughs> Gosh darn it. He is, he's like definitely listening to Staying Alive. Absolutely. Oh, here they are. Um, I don't know if I actually need two, but I'm gonna buy two. Crystal, what's going on? What do? What's this? Deathloop, Metroid, Psychonauts 2! It's not gonna win. I'll tell you right now, straight up, it's not gonna win. Mm. It's my game of the year, though. It's my game of the year. Pretty sure. Final Fantasy 7 was last year, right? <laughs> it's up there, and I am proud of it. It is so good, but not, like, it's, it's a cult classic sort of deal. A lot of people haven't tried it. But my goodness, do people need to. And I can kind of see why in, in, you know, today's age and stuff like that, there's a lot of talk about mental health. And the game kind of does delve into stuff like that. I think it does it in a respectful way. But some people might not be so cool with seeing that in game form, almost. Uh... I did one for each. <laughs> Despite being one of the highest rated games of the year once again. <laughs> Thanks for 70 bells, let me know if you want to make a loss. <laughs> okay, I'll start taking these out with me. Because uh, we're going to need them, and... Uh... Oh, I just need one more of the copper coils and we're good. Big vampire. Oh, yeah. Resident Evil. Yeah. No, like, Psycho as much as I love Psychonauts and I want people to enjoy it and I want everyone to know about it, I know that it probably won't happen. Um, I, uh... Remember when Psychonauts first came out? I didn't play it immediately right away. I had other stuff going on. But you could kind of see it kind of drop off the face of the internet after, like, not that long. When really everyone should have been playing it. <laughs> also, didn't they say that there was a new... Is it the Deepest Ruins? There was a new ruins, right? Oh my goodness. Rosie. Right in my chat as well.
Is this where I'm meant to go? Oh. Okay. But that three-way marriage. <laughs> Achievement unlocked a dangerous dive. Oh. Oh, there's a vending machine. Anyone want a soda pop? Will they give you more luck? More luck. Gives one more life. Help you increase your level scoring? What on earth? What? Hey, Art, how are you doing? What? Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, I love the sword, but that thing just poisoned me. This is a very interesting place. So am I just meant to make it down as many floors as possible? Or... Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Yesterday I was just super out of it. Mentally not really here. And uh, today I'm doing much better. standing to go in the way of that. Why is my camera- I don't know why it suddenly decides to go orange on me. Sometimes the lighting is absolutely perfect and other times it's just like orange. <laughs> Being the floor below one minute. Oh okay. Okay and then you get ranks and items depending on it. Cool. Is this to- that's to leave. I didn't know there'd be like a challenge dungeon. Wait, this is like the coolest thing. What? <laughs> I had not seen this before. Or heard of it. Ooh, rainbow cam's not working either. Alright, I gotta fix that. I think my overlay scene is not working properly. Give me a second, I'll do it in a minute. It sounds like a chicken, doesn't it? There we go, so rank S. That's cool. Um, and time seems to be paused in here, too. G give a second, give a second. I wonder why that's not working right. Um... Someone want a timeout five minutes for me? That'd be really nice, thank you. Um, so boop, and... Boop. Again, I redid my, uh, my OBS yesterday. Um, and things are looking really nice, and they're... It seems to be working pretty well so far. But, um... Some things are not 100% working right. Okay, let's see if play a random clip wants to work. Fingers crossed. You won't be able to use it without oil, so make sure to refill it. Okay. See, I saw lantern oil. That bird went through your face. Could we get a clip of that, please? The border wasn't around it, but... Good enough. I like that there seems to be like a vending machine on every floor and everything too. A uniform blanket. Um, I think that's in the closet right now actually. I should probably get that back because it's winter and I can actually have it now. It was too warm before. It's all good. Just use the coins. If I leave, I don't do I keep them or no? Gosh, shroom and acorn. Oh nice! That's cool. We keep them. Oh, okay. Carbon fiber. I'm kinda here for this. 
uh, can be used to purchase items during the challenge run. Okay. And pine cones. Yeah, when I logged into Animal Crossing this morning, I'm on the current date and I was getting uh, maple leaves falling. Sort of a silly amount of damage sometimes. Stockpile. Well, I don't think I really use them for anything just yet, so. I should have a small collection going on. There we go. Oh, but time is moving forward ever so slightly between floors, I think. Oh, here we go, here we go, all right. Oh, this place is cool looking. All right, dude, let's do it. I'm just gonna leave. We're just gonna go. I don't even care about the boxes. <laughs> I just... This sword's a little bit too crazy. Carbon fiber. Whew. That was, like, ridiculous. I'm, I'm gonna stay here until I pass out, by the way. This is, like, my new favorite thing. This is cool! I had no idea there was, like, a, a, a challenge tower sort of thing in this game. I just assumed it was gonna be another, like, ruin that you, like, get stuff in. Yeah, we're doing like 1500 damage sometimes with that attack here. There we go, carbon fiber. Oh, pepper. Is it like a bruise sore or? Not healing. Oh, really? Hopefully that heals soon. Just like scabbing over, yeah. But oh, this guy was in the floor. Did you guys see that? That's four out of like the 300 I saw. All bias against the genre. <laughs> um, I think I might leave it here. I'm wondering, can I start over from... I'm guessing I can start over from the floor I got to, maybe? I'm not too fussed about it either way. I mean, that's resources for me. Oh, we're gonna pass out anyway, but that's okay. Um, in the meantime, let me go ahead. I'm gonna turn off Rainbow Cam. Thank you so much for redeeming it. I'll have to figure out why it's not automatically going. Oh. You guys aren't meant to see that scene. Y'all saw nothing. That didn't happen. <laughs> Not meant to see that suit. There we go. <laughs> Saw what exactly? Nothing happened. Okay, so. I need to like... There we go. It's currently 12.30. <laughs> Almost. Um, 
Do you guys want to go on break and play some more Porsche after, or should we go on break and play some ACNH after? What do you guys feel like doing today? Why do you have a sword if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we beat the bad guy who may or may not have been our husband. We won't have a baby because our husband is gone. <laughs> and that was his sword. You don't mind? Messing on the snow is so much funnier. <laughs> Um, do you want to do a poll with me, chat? Because, like, I'm indifferent. I'm I'm enjoying Porsche. I'm enjoying ACNH. I'm here for both. Let's go ahead. Hopefully the poll wants to work. It might not. Um, a lot has happened very recently, Art, for sure. It's been just Porsche suddenly hit us with story. Okay. No, I think I'm gonna live out my days as a, uh, as a widow. <laughs> Alright, type 1 in chat for some more Porsche, you guys. 2 in chat for ACNH for this afternoon. What should we do later on today? I'm cool with whichever. Oh, scoundrel. <laughs> Oof, poor Porsche. <laughs> Poor Porsche, you guys. No, it's fine. It's fine. I am here for whatever you guys want to do. Um, but yeah, no, in ACNH, uh, I didn't really play yesterday off stream that much, so. And I know that we're going to have some gyroids to dig up. Oh, Rebecca, thank you. <laughs> we're going to have some gyroids to dig up uh, because we had a lot of rain the day before that, so. stream before ACNH. I mean, it depends. It's whatever Wednesday tomorrow, so we could do ACNH, we could do Breath of the Wild, we could do some more Porsche if I really felt like it. We could do whatever. I think you guys are pretty... <laughs> I think you're pretty decided, though. Um, so, let's go on our break. I'll switch games, I'll switch categories, hopefully I remember. Um, and then when we come back, we'll play some ACNH, so. Also, speaking of ACNH, I almost forgot. It's a good thing you guys decided, because we have two amiibo card packs to open up. Uh, that I obviously have not opened yet. These are the last two Series 5 packs I'm ever actually going to be buying, theoretically. Um, so I'll have opened five packs in total. So, some packs when we get back. If you guys are headed out. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're sticking around, hang tight, enjoy the stream moments. They might sound a little bit glitchy just because of who I am as a person, uh, but also OBS. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all real soon. Thank you so very much for being here. I really do appreciate it.